chambering begins with a round in the feed plate groove and the bolt and operating rod to the rear. When the round is in the feed plate groove, the front cartridge guide and the rear cartridge guide place downward pressure on the round to hold it in position. These guides are under spring tension. The rear end of the front cartridge guide will block the forward movement of the belt link. To chamber around, the trigger must be pulled. First though, let's see how the trigger and sear operate. When the safety is placed in the safe position, and the trigger pulled, it will prevent the rear of the sear from pivoting downward. With the safety in the fire position, the rear of the sear pivots downward when the trigger is pulled, releasing the operating rod and allowing the operating rod drive spring to expand. When the trigger housing group is properly attached to the gun and the trigger pulled, the sear disengages from the sear notch. The operating rod, driven by its expanding spring, starts forward. The bolt travels forward also, and we shall now see how the cartridge is stripped from the belt. In the M60, the round is stripped from the belt link in a single forward action by the upper locking lug striking the rim of the cartridge, moving it forward. The link is firmly held by the front and rear cartridge guides and cannot move forward with the cartridge. The nose of the round is guided down into the chamber by the chambering ramps. Let us repeat the action. The ramps guide the round downward toward the chamber. The bolt locking lugs now contact the curved surfaces of the barrel socket. The bolt starts to rotate clockwise. The extractor engages the rim of the cartridge. Chambering is completed. Locking began with chambering. As the parts move forward, the operating rod yoke engaged in the bolt camming slot aids in rotating the bolt in a clockwise direction. The locking lugs engage the locking recesses of the barrel socket. Locking is completed. The next step is firing. The forward movement of the operating rod carries the firing pin forward. The firing pin strikes the primer of the cartridge and ignites the round. Firing has been accomplished. The expanding gases propel the bullet through the barrel. When the bullet passes the gas cylinder port, gas moves from the barrel through the gas port into the gas cylinder. Here it enters the piston through the ports in the collecting ring. The gas expands and forces the piston to the rear. The piston strikes the operating rod and begins the rearward movements of the operating parts. The expanding gas moves through the front gas cylinder nut in the gas cylinder extension. Excess gas escapes at the bleeder hole. The remaining gas escapes at the gas escape ports at the rear of the cylinder. Unlocking begins with the rearward movement of the operating rod. As the operating rod travels rearward, there is a slight delay before the bolt is unlocked from the barrel socket. Here is why. The operating rod has a short period of free travel. As the camming yoke passes through the straight portion of the bolt camming slot. When the camming yoke reaches the curved portion of the bolt camming slot, it forces the bolt to rotate in a counterclockwise direction. The bolt locking lugs and the locking recesses of the barrel socket are at such an angle that counterclockwise rotation of the bolt during unlocking permits a slight rearward movement. 
the now tightly seated cartridge case is loosened in the chamber. This prevents the extractor from tearing through or slipping over the head of the cartridge case. The operating rod overcomes the resistance of the bolt. Unlocking is completed. Extracting and ejecting now begin. The empty cartridge case gripped by the extractor is drawn from the chamber. In this view, you see the ejector on the other side of the bolt. It was compressed during chambering and exerts forward pressure on the rim of the cartridge. When the empty case reaches the ejection port in the right side of the receiver, the ejector spins the case from the gun. Ejection is completed. The next round pushes out the link. The firing pin spring is compressed and cocking is accomplished.